From the students of the Department of Meteorology and Atmospheric Science, here is your Penn State Campus Weather Service forecast. Good Monday evening. I'm student meteorologist Lexi Cole from the Penn State Campus Weather Service. And today definitely wasn't the nicest day out there. You can see right now over the Hub Robeson Center, very cloudy, quite a dingy day out there. Temperatures are down into the low 40s, except note this, it does feel like 35 out there, and that's because we have these winds coming out of the west-northwest, which is bringing some of that cooler air down into the region and kind of making it feel a little bit more like December because, yes, it is unfortunately that time of the year. Now, in terms of our satellite and radar, we do have widespread cloud cover really all across the state, so it's not an isolated event here to State College. Couple of snow and rain showers up to our north, and these are actually going to be moving their way into our area later this evening and into the overnight hours. Now, those temperatures across the state are staying relatively consistent. We're seeing State College here at 41, Altoona 42, Clearfield also hanging out at 42, and then really all across the state, we're down into these high 30s, Bradford at 38 and Dubois at 39, and then Pittsburgh at 42 and over on the eastern side of the state, we're a little bit warmer, Harrisburg 47 and Philadelphia all the way up to 50 degrees. I think that's the only area that really got out of the 40s today. Now, in terms of what to expect for the rest of this week, we're going to start off very chilly and we're going to have some flurries pretty much every day, that little chance of some kind of snow in the area, not too much accumulation, but we do have some snow showers. So don't be scared if you see a snowflake here or there. By midweek, or excuse me, late week, we're actually going to start to warm up. We'll see temperatures reach up into the 50s. Some areas even kind of pushing 60 degrees, which is pretty impressive considering we are in December. And then by Sunday, this is when we'll see some actual precipitation move its way back into the area. And this should be in the form of rain because our temperatures are going to be so warm by that time. So looking ahead, this is our future weather for this evening. Like I said, a couple of snow showers will be pushing their way into the area. These will just be in the form of flurries. But then by tomorrow evening, this is when things might get a little bit heavier. We're not expecting insane accumulations from this event. As you can see here, we are kind of on the border between rain and snow here in State College. More than likely, it will start off as rain and then transition into snow, but it shouldn't be super heavy. This should be somewhere in the form of some kind of a shower to maybe steady precipitation. Shouldn't be anything crazy, though. And then this will clear out of the way by the time that we reach early morning on Wednesday. Now, I was talking about those precipitation accumulations. Here in State College, like I said, it's not going to be a huge event. We're seeing four hundredths of an inch. Uh, converted to snowfall, this is going to be less than half an inch of snowfall, so maybe just a dusting here in State College, if it even sticks or if it gets cold enough. Um, up to the northwest, it could be a little bit more of an event, but here in central Pennsylvania, not too much to worry about. Now, looking ahead, this is the rest of the day Wednesday. Not too exciting, maybe a couple of flurries here or there. And then by the time we hit Thursday, we're just going to kind of stick relatively quiet while we'll high pressure build into the area. It'll keep us calm for Thursday. And then by Friday, we'll see this warm up start to happen. And then that warm up will stick around for Saturday. And then Sunday is when we'll actually see some of this precipitation move back in. Only in the form of rain, it'll be very warm. You can see all these streamlines coming out of the south. Um, so this is expected to be a mostly rain event. And it could actually bring some pretty good accumulation totals into the area. Now, if you are a warm weather lover, you're kind of in luck because we're going to stay above average in the next six to 10 days. That's why that event's going to stay mostly rain. And then even beyond that, we're looking like we might stick up into the high 40s, maybe into the 50s for just a few more days afterwards. However, for tonight, we're going to stay relatively cool. We're going to see temperatures down around 31 degrees. It'll be mostly cloudy out there. And yes, it will definitely be chilly. Make sure you have your jacket. For tomorrow, we're going to warm up to about 40 degrees, not a huge change from today. It'll be mostly cloudy, and then in the evening, that's when those snow slash rain slash wintry mixed showers are going to move into the area. Like I said, not a big chance of a large accumulation there. Now, looking ahead at your seven-day forecast, here's what you can expect for the rest of the week. We'll stay pretty chilly as we move through Thursday, up in those low 30s, or excuse me, high 30s, low 40s. And then by the time that we get to late week, this is when we'll see temperatures start to rise up to about 50 degrees. We'll stay dry until we get to Sunday. And then we have that rain event making its way into the area. So with that, do be sure to enjoy the relatively dry weather. Although it's cold, um, it's still nice out there. So with that, I'm student meteorologist Lexi Cole. Have a fantastic Monday evening.